I am so tired. I'm also very tired. Did I mention I'm really tired? So I really don't remember what I was going to talk about anyways. I feel like whatever I could talk about regarding like this page for the house, anything I could say about this would just require me to talk about the story more and that would mean I would have to explain the entire thing which I don't want to because I don't want to spoil everything but also because I'm way too tired to do that so a lot of people including myself back in the day I would do that whenever I had an idea for a story I would just start drawing it which is not the right way to do it as you guys know I'm someone who likes to change up stuff like not just tiny things like major major things and I change them up all the time so imagine me drawing the first manga page or the first comic page right away and going all right gotta cut off tired Maddie here because <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm talking about right now so and it goes on for a while so I'm just gonna stop that and I'm gonna explain what I actually mean I see a lot of people going into their story without any preparation I've done that a lot I've done it for 10 years every time. I've talked about this on other videos and I've shown on a really old video, I've shown my, my old pages that I drew and it was always the first page and that was it. Because I had absolutely no background story. I would create the characters on the spot and then go from there. Which is horrible and it doesn't work at all. So you might want to not do that, for example. That's a pretty good idea. What you do want to do, and I got this idea from my mangaka life on... YouTube actually. Uh, she's like a uh, professional manga artist and she taught me that she for herself always draws out the entire story and plans it out on her computer or write written down and everything before she draws it out. So everything is already planned. All the characters are already done. She just has to draw out the final stuff. Now assuming that you're you have like a deadline every month and you have to put out a chapter a month or something like that or three chapters a month depending on what you're drawing and what your publisher wants. If you don't have a lot of inspiration that month and you don't know what else could come next, you're screwed. Your story is probably going to get discontinued because you can't catch up, which is really bad. You don't want to do that. So when I heard what she was doing, that was like, oh my god, this is brilliant. So that's what I'm doing now and it's working so much better. Okay, that's all from Future Maddie. Here we have some planning on the house that they're all gonna be in. Uh, I did that previously, but like it's different styles and researching. And now I'm kind of going with a more final look here. Guess who has to review their fucking perspective? They are. God. I'm working on the room right now. I want them to be at least like two people sleeping in one room, I guess. So it's kind of like a dorm room. And I've been thinking of putting the bathrooms in the rooms already. Sorry, I'm getting sick. Instead of putting it like one collective bathroom because I, I just couldn't figure out how that would work out. Alright, so here we have some... Here's the layout from the rooms. We got the closet here. Uh, we got the main door here where you come in. Um, bathroom, shower, sink, toilet. The proportions are completely off but that doesn't really matter. Uh, and two beds and a desk with windows right here. Um, it's just a little basic layout how I might want to make the rooms look. As I said, the proportions aren't completely off, so that doesn't really matter. But And a few other things about the, the staircase and everything. Basically, that's um, you got the top view here. So this is a bit of stairs. I think I drew this somewhere here. You got the stairs and then you got this little platform. I was thinking of putting a roof on the platform, over the platform, but I looked at a lot of houses and with the whole thing I wanted to look like, it's not going to work out too well. So I'm not going to put 
any roof over this. So we get the door here, which you can also see here. And then over the roof, there's these windows, right? So this is, together, this is a different one. <laughs> it's a mess, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but, and then you come in, and then you go like this. You have the stairs like this, you go up, and then you go like this, right here. And then all the rooms are here and here. Basically, here's the front door of the room. So here's the front door of that room. So that would be, like, you know what I mean. Right? Come on. And on the other side, the same thing. So these rooms are just gonna be like this. Like that. Yeah, here's like, this was the first draft for the series. Here's a little bit more how the stairs might look like. I tried drawing this character. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this character yet. Whoever she's gonna end up being, she's going to be in the room with Maya, probably. I'm gonna have to work a little bit more on her. I just spit on the floor. <laughs> All right, so here's an entire page of me trying to draw Apart from this one, everything else is just trying, I was trying to get a character. I looked on Pinterest after that and I, um, cause I, I felt like I wanted to have dreadlocks. This is what the character was supposed to look like initially, like right at the beginning. Then I tried drawing her again here. Um, I tried drawing her again, again, again. I tried drawing her and then I was like, mm, I don't really like that character like that too much. So I thought of giving her a different style like different look pretty much um now she has dreadlocks uh i tried redrawing her like this you have to keep in mind that this is like the first drawing i did of her i did it without guidelines as well which is really hard after that to make it with guidelines for some reason i'm gonna have to try a few times until i can draw her again here's a little spoiler so if you don't want to be spoiled spoiled yeah don't read it. If you don't give a damn, then read it if you want to. This is not like the beginning of it. This is like in the middle. Uh, it's like maybe chapter two, something like that. Chapter two, chapter three, something. Or maybe even chapter one. I'm, I'm not sure how long the chapters are gonna be. But um, this is like the worst drawing ever. Like it's really badly drawn. It's just so I know a little bit how to put the panels down. I'm not done with this one, obviously, but like it's not the final product that this is this is not gonna look like that, but it's just like if I, I have an idea in my head, uh, it plays out like a movie, and then I just have to put it down like camera angles, like it's in, like a movie in my head, so I have to put it down like camera angles and all that, play it out multiple times in my head and then draw it out, which makes everything really hard. <laughs> I don't know how other people think of stories, but for me it's always like a movie, which makes it a lot easier now that they're more realistic looking and more in a scenery that I, I know better, like America, instead of it being in Japan that I know nothing about. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the week. If you enjoyed that, I would love to know. So give me a thumbs up or give me a comment if you have any questions and I will answer them. I'm, I'm sorry there's like not a lot of in there and it's really all over the place. It was pretty hard for me to keep track of the week so I'm gonna try my best to do it better next time. And I'm gonna see you next week then. So have a great weekend or whatever is left of it. <laughs> Alright, see you next week. Bye!